All right, come here. I gotta show you something in Lightroom. We're gonna be using the dehaze tool, but probably not the way that you think. What did you notice with those images? Probably that the first of each image set was a little bit bland, right? Let's fix that. Light is the most important aspect of photography. I mean, that's where the word photography comes from. So when we're editing photos, we really want to take into consideration the natural light in each scene and do our best to enhance the natural light that's available. What I'm gonna show you next is one of my favorite techniques to do exactly that and hopefully take your landscape images to the next level. That's enough talking though, let's hop into Lightroom and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So I wanna make this super simple. So we're gonna be starting with edited images. So take your image to the point that you would normally have a finished product. I've got two images here, a beautiful road in Kananaskis here in Alberta, as well as a stunning peak, one of my favorite hikes from the backcountry in Kananaskis as well. But we're gonna be starting with the first image. And like I said, when you're looking at an image, you want to enhance the natural light. I feel like this looks quite beautiful already, but I really think that we can take it up a notch by enhancing where the natural light is coming from. And so that is the first step. We're gonna analyze the scene and because it is setting and I actually know where the light was coming from physically, you can see it's cast along onto these roads here. And we know the sun is going to be setting soon from the left side of the scene, but you can use that same process in any image that you're looking at. So the first technique that we're going to be doing is grabbing a radial filter out of our mask section and dragging it pretty much across the entire frame so that we have a nice big radial and then positioning it to where the light is coming from. I like to imagine that this radial is where the light or the sun is kind of going out onto the image and laying that beautiful light into the scene that we're seeing. So I set that up on a radial. You could use a linear mask, but I prefer the look of the radial. Then once we've got our radial in place here, um, we want to make sure that our feather is up to 100 or close there too, just so it gives a really smooth cast onto the image. And then the special sauce in this technique is actually using negative dehaze. So positive dehaze um, you've probably used before to bring back details or bring some contrast and color into a certain section, maybe even this mountain peak here. But negative dehaze makes it softer and less contrasty and almost gives it a bit of a glow. So we're going to bring our negative dehaze down to about negative 30, which is kind of my starting point. And you can already kind of see things softening up there if I pop it on and off and it gives it a nice look already. So the next step out of this process is to bring up the warmth and you can adjust the temperature cool or warm depending on the scene. But because this is an almost sunset scene, I'm going to bring the warmth up quite a bit because the scene is already quite warm and we really want to enhance that natural warm light that's coming in there. So I'm going to bring that up to about 30 as well and see how that looks. And I'm going to bring it up even further in this one, because I think this could do a lot with quite a bit of warmth. So I'm bringing that up to about, you just gotta play around with it a little bit, but I'm gonna bring it up to around 75 and lock it in there, that's not perfect. And then now we can see that we've got this kind of warm cast in there. I'll turn that on and off quickly. And it really brings a lot of life to that image in my opinion, automatically pretty well. Bring a really nice soft glow off the left side of that image where we traditionally see that nice sunset warm glow coming in. And I'm actually gonna feather in this warmth even further into this image because you can see the light is casting all the way over onto the roadside here. And so throughout the process, you're gonna be adjusting this filter a little bit, but I really like how that's looking already. And if you turn it on and off quickly, you can see the massive adjustment. And to me, that gives a more natural feel to how it looked like in real life. So after we've adjusted our negative sea haze and our warmth, I'm also gonna go straight to the exposure and bring that up to really make that pop. And because the scene kind of had that really almost contrasty light coming in, um, I think that does it justice. This is up to taste. I'm not gonna put it up as high as I had it there, but that is looking pretty good to me. So again, with this, you're gonna to want to adjust some of your other um, adjustments on the image, maybe to make it look more natural. But in this scene, you can see that it really just adds a nice pop to it and we'll turn that on and off quickly. Um, see how cool and kind of bland it looks like there. Well, when we turn that mask on, it really brings a lot of life to it. And I think that really does this image justice. You can go ahead and adjust some of the other things, but to me, that is a final image. And I really like how that kind of takes that light to the next limit. 
And I really like how that kind of takes that light to the next level in this image. A really nice dreamy stream of light coming from a natural source. It doesn't seem authentic. Uh, it doesn't seem inauthentic as if we were to bring it from the other side, but when we have it from the natural source, it really just kind of enhances that light that's already there. But let's finish that one up and you can go ahead and export that one, but let's move on to the next image onto that beautiful mountain peak that I was talking about. And we can see this one's a lot cooler. So we still have that warm mountain peak in here, but again, first steps first, we're gonna go and grab a radial filter and pull that to our size that we kind of want. You're gonna have to move that around a little bit and bring it over to that side. Again, we can see that the light is coming here um, from the right side on this image, just by analyzing how things look, it's getting to be closer, but just because the right side of this peak is lit up, you can pretty um, damn sure tell that the light's coming from there. And then like we did in the last one, we're gonna go down to dehaze, bring that to about negative 30. You can see that's softening it up really nice. And I like that warm kind of soft glow that's already in the image. But again, we're gonna take it up a notch and bring up that warmth and I think we can probably bring this on up quite a lot again too. And so something that you need to take in consideration as well is the uh, temperature and the tint. Um, you can see this image when it warmth comes up quite a lot, you might wanna adjust the tint to that more purple side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've set the warmth to 65 and then I'm bringing that up to like positive 15 to kind of um, match the overall look and color of this image. So now that we've got our temperature and our negative dehaze, I'm gonna bring up the exposure and look at how much that pops in there. And I think we can even bring the warrant uh, up even more. And there you go, simple as that. We'll look at the masks here and turn that one on and off. And it just gives it a beautiful glow and pop. And to me, I really love how that can bring an image to life. It enhances the natural direction of light and it really just kind of brings things alive. That's it, super simple, quick tutorial for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below.